All right, putting the signature into my signature portrait. So uh, this image I found, which at least its screen resolution is pretty strong, much better than this one, which claimed to be much bigger than it is and, and better than this one. From a signed letter, very nice. April from his affectionate friend, the writer Oscar Wilde. Yes, very nice. All right, so now you'll see that just looks terrible. So let's get that out of there, the low resolution. Let's bring in the higher resolution. Position it. We think it might be useful, at least to begin with. I will cut it out. This is all compositing. And I will carefully select around it using a tolerance of 32, which is the default, and contiguous turned off so it gets all the loops inside as well. Right, select the inverse and then duplicate that. He seemed to like to put his name at an angle, so. Yeah, I think that will work. Trying to rotate it a little. And now I'm going to sharpen that. Using Smart Sharpen. Just like Gaussian blur in reverse. Over something as simple as, you know, a pin signature. works rather well. I'm going to take off these kind of white fringe edges. I can simply set it to multiply mode and it will then darken what's underneath. And there we have a signature on his print. Now, it is getting obscured uh, quite a bit by the pastel, so let me play with that. Go to my finishing painting, see if it's in that layer. No, not so much, that's not interfering. See if it's the base painting, a little bit, refine painting, quite a bit. So let's go to that and just erase with my pastel brush at 53%. Let's remove some of those obstacles. I'm being able to see it clearly. I have a light touch here. <laughs> I 
because I'm using the pastel brush that I designed as the eraser, actually does a very believable job kind of taking away excess. All right. Good. Last thing to try. How opaque I want to make the base painting. All, right. now all I have to do is duplicate it to make it more opaque. And I can play with its opacity on the duplicate. And that just feels, to me anyway, way too dark not just because of the signature. Maybe up it a little bit from where it was. Okay. Looks good to me. Making sure each layer is valuable here. And it is. Signature goes on top of everything. Its color is maybe a little brown, so I can work with that under color balance. This is all being pretty nitpicky. Now it's just helping everything kind of sit together. And I can just take its opacity down just a slight bit. Let it sit into the paper a little bit. Remember those changes I made? They help a whole lot. All right. So right there, that's bugging me a tiny bit. Just feels fussy at the edge there. Use my eraser then. Just hit it a bit. Feels less fussy now. Okay. That's without the Toulouse-Lautrec in the background. I still like it, but maybe I can take its opacity down a little bit. Or even better yet, keep its opacity up, just erase away a little bit from the parts I don't feel are as needed. And maybe they are. I don't kind of need that brightness. I can use Clone Stamp instead. I can even use Clone Stamp using my pastel brush and set those shape dynamics. And the pin pressure control and the angle jitter and everything else. And I want to set it to be not all layers, but the current layer only. And some of these lines that might be a bit a little distracting. I can kind of paint out without losing any of the vibrancy of that pastel paper. 
from the two whistle track. See where that muddiness is coming from. It's really all those layers. All right, and then to this track. Which, if you recall, I adjusted the color of to kind of match what I needed as well. And since it's so clear on the bottom, I want that clarity. So I'm going to do the current and below layers. And go to my base painting layer. Kind of cut that out and then just keep working up. Taking away from the edge. In a way that feels actually very believable to pastel. Like this. I might take opacity down a tiny bit as I'm doing this. Yeah. Okay, looks like crayon. Looks like pastel and crayon on a butcher paper. Yeah. I look really close. I still see those granulated, you know, marks of the pure pixels, which means it will print well. It has density and sharpness to it, even the paper in the background. Has nice variation. There's little things. Oh, that's from the composite layer. Let me erase that away. I've got a good eraser now, remember? It's the pastel. So we'll do a great job of sinking any of those hard edges I missed. Okay. Okay, very satisfied. And that is my finished signature print. Everything's doing its part. It's come a long way. So I simply save it, 